Hi, I'm Evan Thompson, Director of the Meteorological Service in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation. The Saharan dust is an area, a, a layer of dust particles that are suspended in the atmosphere, drifting across the waters of the tropical Atlantic and into the Caribbean basin in this case, and this is coming from the west coast of Africa. Now this is a large expanse of dust particles suspended in the atmosphere. It comes in a large, what they call a plume, um, that's moving across the area. And so Jamaica is just on the fringe of that plume right now, but is expected to experience more of the activity from this um, Sahara air layer that is moving across the region. This dust layer from the African coastline across the tropical Atlantic is something that occurs on a regular basis every year, round about this time as we move into the summer, going into the fall or the autumn, that's when it would normally occur. And so this is not really an unusual phenomenon. However, this year we're seeing something that is a lot more intense, a much um, thicker layer of dust that is moving across the area and it is expanding much farther than just the Eastern Caribbean but it's getting through the Central Caribbean and into the west of the region and so Jamaica is more likely to be impacted this year. It is something we see on a year-to-year -year basis and it's usually occurring at this time of the year. You know some people are somewhat concerned about what kind of impacts the dust can have on their skin and in their environment I just want to assure you that it's not any kind of radioactive element or anything like that. It's really just dust coming from the Sahara area of West Africa moving across and into our area. So what we're really looking at in terms of those kinds of impacts are really health in terms of respiratory illnesses. Where there are such illnesses, we could have some flare-ups of that occurring. So if persons are experiencing asthma or have the history of asthma or other respiratory illnesses, this could cause some difficulty with breathing. So if you fall in that category, you should take the necessary precautions. Of course, consult with your medical personnel as to what needs to be done in those cases. We don't expect that you're going to see any kind of real disruption in your life in terms of how you go about doing your business. Of course, it will mean when you get up, you might really have to wipe off your car or you will have to dust off certain things because there is that layer of dust that is going to be settling on surfaces. So that is the main thing that we will be seeing. Of course, for flights, it might be a, um, some kind of a detriment to, to flights because of course dust particles getting into engines may be of concern. I will leave it to them to make that kind of determination but it, it's really something that is going to look like haze in our atmosphere, thick haze, just that we can't see very far in the distance but we can go about our daily lives as we would normally. As we go into the weekend though we are expecting that we will see a dissipation of much of what we would have experienced earlier in the week and then we should start to see things coming back to normal at that time.